Can you, I want you to take a moment and examine yourself. Truthfully, you don't need to tell me if you do it or not. You don't have to tell me um, of the dark side. But I want you to take a moment right now and neither agree with me or disagree with me. But take a moment and look, look within yourself. And just see if you have developed this arrogance within yourself that because of your spiritual practice, if you're any better than other people. If you find yourself more conscious, if you find yourself superior, take a look, just examine, you know, just examine yourself. And if the answer is, if you're detecting that, then know in this very moment that you are trapped, that you're not free. You have given up one way, one identification way of identifying with an appearance of spirituality. It is still an appearance and you're still not free. until you're able to come to this place that you go within and start to really connect with like for example what Eckhart Tolle says the deep I or what some other school of spirituality referring to is the deeper sense of I am, like in Advaita Vedanta, they talk about I am. And, and you go to this place, the very back, the observer, the seer, the presence, the real presence, which is here, always here. And you go back, you go deeper inside and you connect with that part of yourself. The very truth of who you are. And you connect with that. And that, you go back to this place. And that place is formless, it's idealless, And it's free. It's just simply free. It doesn't have a sense of identification. And I want you to take a moment and, and bring yourself to that place and examine it. Check it out. Go to this place. Artie, I got your message. Thank you. And All right. So I know my Facebook Live, I was actually going to examine the phone to see if there is a change and you can hear me, but apparently the device is broken. I thought I'd get it fixed, but... It didn't really work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the Facebook Live on the device and I'm going to try to actually go from a different device to see if this works. So, so while I'm doing this, I want you to just take a moment and really examine for yourself. Just check it out. Check things out for yourself and see where you're at with it. Where you're at. And this is something you want to do on a regular basis. And examination and checking in 
of the spiritual ego. Every once in a while you want to pause and to do reflection, reflecting on the ego. To see where it is, to see if it's getting really huge, under the cover of spirituality and it's fooling you and it's keeping you trapped or you're actually free. You're the only one who can make any changes in this area by self-reflecting, by constantly checking in with yourself, keeping an eye, keeping an eye on yourself to see if you're gonna fall into this egoic place or not. And consequently, are you falling into this judgmental place and you're hearing your mind is judging all the time? I'm not talking about the life judgment. I'm not talking about the life way of have to figure out what to do because you have to make decisions between uh, whether I should, you know, is it safe to go into this alley or not? So you have to make these judgments all the time. Is it safe to go on a walk with this person or not? So you have to constantly make these judgments and that's different than what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is your mind goes into these places of really judging other people constantly because you think you're better. And the mind does that. It's the nature of the mind, but you catch it. Or you find yourself more spiritual, more conscious, or more advanced. And you just catch yourself. And what you do is when you catch yourself, you just bring yourself back into the presence where it's simply watching. You go back into the watcher. Now, our friend asked me a question regarding, okay, back to what she asked me. And right now, actually, I just want to get this Facebook Live going because uh, I'm using a different device. Just, just bear with me for one moment. If I don't think we have enough bandwidth for doing it, we may. So the next thing comes to this question came up to me, it's like, okay, I'm a spiritual being, I'm working in the, on myself, and I'm struggling with finances all the time. And so how am I gonna be in the world of the spirit and not give up the world of the spirit and just jump into the world of material which actually you can't, you may do it for a short period of time, and then you're gonna start suffering by shutting yourself down. But how can I manifest more money? How can I manifest a better life?